All right, let's talk a little eBay strategy. Now, this is actually going to be about another item, but I'm going to start the conversation by looking at this one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. You know, Q4 is still a little bit away, but man, sales have been absolutely crazy. I typically film three videos a week and ship three times a week. I have 37 items headed out of here today. It's going absolutely nuts. I'd love to know if it's the same for you guys out there. I'd appreciate your feedback down below. But I have to talk a little bit about eBay strategy. Had a few questions lately. And an item today sold that reminded me of that. And I want to get your feedback on some eBay strategies and what kind of things you do as an experienced reseller that maybe we can help out some other resellers who are just getting started below. Let's take a look. Now we're going to do a few sales here before we get to that uh, strategy part of the video. But here's a little, little bit of advice, I guess. Not for me. I want you guys to put the advice down below. So we talked about remotes on the Trash Cast podcast the other day. Here's an old school remote right there. And those are actually worth good money if you ever come across them. This one here is a good one, too. It's a Harmony 676. There are some Harmony remotes that are crazy good money. Do me a favor, and if you know a remote control of anything, we've talked about sleep number bed remotes and stuff like that, give us a remote control that sells for big money and put it down in the comments. This one sold for $30 plus shipping. We are still having some viewer sales, and that skateboard right there, I picked that up with Eric OBX Picker down there in uh, North Carolina, the 301 sale. That one right there, maybe I'll zoom in on it for a second. And I don't remember what we paid, but I bought that one there. And that one, and I know we didn't pay that much for him. That one sold for $100 plus shipping to Robert. Along with this guy here. This sold for $12.50 plus shipping. And I thought it was a Magilla Gorilla. This was actually picked up by Lady Arbitrage. And I thought it was a Magilla Gorilla. And she picked it up. And then they had bought so much stuff. And they were traveling across country. I'm like, you know what? Why don't you just pull a bunch of stuff out and I'll buy it from you. You know, for a little bit more than you paid for it. And this, I'm like, I got to have this though because it's cool. And it went for twelve fifty plus shipping. And Robert, we thank you. And uh, that's a pretty cool one right there. I was happy to let him sit there as long as he wanted to. So Nanco, I like that one. I just have to stop the video for a second here while I'm filming this. Just wanted to show something. We're doing, some of you may not know Nate. Every day I'm hustling. Passed away in a car accident not too long ago. And uh, well, <laughs> a lot of people in the community got together and are doing some amazing things for his family. And I just wanted to thank everybody in here. Chris the Goose, um, Jimmy, old school picker. I think old school flips is in here as well. That's Chris is old school picker. Jimmy, old school flips. And uh, Eric Course is helping. And, uh, you know, so many folks. Victoria helped run this auction. And just want to thank a bunch of people and as well let's see there's one more whom i want to yes. uh just me kathy there it is 250 dollar bid chris up to 260 on this this mug right here and i just wanted to say thank you for everybody for being so kind and for uh bidding these items up and it's all going to a great cause. So this community really is amazing. So thank y'all so much. All right, y'all, I have a ton of sales. So I'm going to go really super quick. But, you know, I have to take the time for those old cassette sales because I love selling them so much. They don't often sell for big money, but I don't know. It's just something about an old cassette. So Big Daddy Kane, it's a Big Daddy thing. Rap Masters and Naughty by Nature. There you go. <laughs> something I probably never listened to. But you know what? We made a bunch of money on a big lot of this stuff. And these three sold for $14.25. Whoops. Plus shipping. All right, let's talk a little eBay strategy. Now, this is actually going to be about another item, but I'm going to start the conversation by looking at this one. So if you've been watching the show at all lately, you'll know that these have been selling like crazy. Well, they all sold. Every single one of them. So one person. And Angie, I don't know if you're a viewer. I actually don't think you are. Um, bought eight of them. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's right. Let me double check. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I can't count there. Those all sold to one person. And I think I know why. I think that uh, I put a good price on these. And that's part of the strategy, right? Do you want to 
hold on to something forever or do you want to put a good strategy on them? there's only a few other people out there and i undercut the market and they're like i guess i don't know buy the rest of them i'm not quite sure maybe not i don't know maybe they're giving them out as christmas gifts might be kind of cool right check that out december 7 1972 that might be the strategy there i don't know but i decided to list them at a good price and i did undercut the market on a little bit but there's not that many of this particular one out there and i'm like you know what we'll put it out there i think a good price and then so many viewers bought them so eight sold let me just keep counting here might have to do it this way sorry i'm taking so long there we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen plus eight. Twenty-two are headed out of here today. And some of the well, I would say probably half of these are viewers and left a comment. So the rest of the people who weren't viewers, you know, they just got, you know, if they if they were watching at all, they were seeing sale, 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 running out, running out, running out, running out, because eBay will send those messages out to people who are looking at this item. And so they just sold like crazy. It's kind of like the buy box on Amazon, in a sense, if you have multi-quantity. And so what do you do with multi-quantity? If it's all the same exact item, do not lot them up. Make them singular. If somebody wants to buy a bunch, they just did, right? And then we'll refund the difference in the shipping. If, if I usually do it. I always do it if somebody asks. I do it sometimes. Like on this order, no, nobody's going to have to ask. I'll do it anyways. But... You know, that's one strategy that you can do is to put a different percentage on it. You know, if you buy two, you get 5% off. If you buy three, you get 10% off. I didn't do that on those because I saw so many viewers buying them. I wanted each person to get one, you know, kind of thing. But I've got another item back here I want to talk about. Here's the item I was talking about. You've seen me sell a bunch of vinyl mations. You'll see me sell a few more vinyl mations today. I bought a lot of somewhere around 130 of these. And we've been selling them off slowly but surely. And this one, we made a conscious decision here. There's Peter Pan, Tinkerbell right there. To put them in a lot. There's 87 in here. 87 in this lot. Okay? And so the decision-making process is actually pretty strategic. And I'm going to talk about that. But first, let me tell you what this sold for. I believe it was $207.50 plus shipping and if you remember that video i believe i paid 120 maybe 125 for everything i think i might just keep this over here actually for now i'll take up all my space and so i don't know somebody do the math on that and you know it's two two and change each you know for each one i don't know what is what is 87 and uh two maybe close to 250 not quite of course two and two and a quarter i don't know now i'm gonna have to do the math i'm gonna do it real quick and i'll put it on the screen right here there you go I got history, y'all. Sorry. But there are some pretty cool ones in here. And we could have sold them one by one by one. But we decided not to. And I want to talk about what made me do that. And then I want to ask that question for you, knowing that our answers will be different. And that's okay. All right, before we talk about that, I want to read Chris's comment. Been following your YouTube channels for about a year now. This is my first this is a first time purchase. I will use these to expand my inventory beyond just joe's transformers and such <laughs> gi joe's and transformers that's very cool so a little retail arbitrage here which leads into my topic let's see what your story is here y'all can go check it out dark toy lord i like that got a bunch of feedback 3474 dark toy dark toy lord very cool chris thank you so much and i hope you enjoy them. all right so here's the deal this particular sale right here this particular type item i bought these in Tennessee at the 127 sale. So I paid 125 for, you know, basically paid a little less than a dollar a piece. And so this was one that I had Bubba's girlfriend work on because it's perfect, right? There's no cleaning. It's, you find the exact comp and you just kind of go with it. Well, I told her, I'm like, hey, just do a quick search of every single one. Go do every single one, see if you can find them. If you got to use Google Lens or something, use Google Lens. I told her to find every single one that has a track record of selling for $8, $7.99, plus shipping and higher. If it's got that track record, go ahead and list it. It's exactly what she did. And all the ones we've listed, they've been selling pretty darn quickly. These would have been hard sellers. A lot of them are, are out there and you can get them for $6.99, $7.99, sometimes $8, $9 um, with no sold comps. And so there is money to be made here. And I bet if you keep track of this, Chris, 
you'll make some money. You're probably not going to get rich on this deal. You'll probably make $150 profit on it, but it'll take you a long time to do it. So that's why I put it out there, and I hope you make money on it. But for me, because I have a massive death pile, I wasn't going to go through them and individually do them this time. I've always talked about, and I'm a proponent of selling things for $5 plus shipping all the time. But I'm not a proponent of doing that if the item doesn't have a high sell-through rate. And so that's what she was checking for. $7.99 plus shipping with a decent sell-through rate. She would get those, pull them out. We found 40 of those, and we've sold about half of them so far. So we're already well into the profit. My guess is we've made 200 and... I don't know, 220 maybe so far. Still have a pretty good amount to go. But I want to know what's your limit. Not that we have to argue because my limit's going to be different than somebody else's. And the limit depends on how easy an item is. I'll make two bucks on an item. If I can do it in two minutes, absolutely I'll do it. And I have kind of a rolling sliding scale based on the difficulty of the item, cleaning, testing, and shipping. If it's no clean, no test, very easy to ship. I'll make a couple bucks on something. I have no problem whatsoever. That's kind of like that item, but I wasn't doing it. So I was actually paying somebody to do that. So you have to factor that in, right? She's going to be listing something and taking time to do it. And I'm paying her to do it. And it's only making me three bucks and I'm giving half of it to her. I don't know that it's worth it at that point. So let me know your strategies as far as those multi-quantity things that are different items. Do you pull out the good ones, sell the rest in a lot? I think it's a good strategy to try. All right, I sold three club head covers. I pulled two of them out. I forgot about the other one because it was damaged. We sold it anyways, though. Cobra BioCell. And that one's in great shape. $12 plus shipping for that one. We're in the pure profit now. This whole bin is pure profit. This is pure profit. This one back here is pure profit, which it needs to be because it only sold for $6 plus shipping because it doesn't have Velcro, which I didn't put that in the listing. So just have hook and loop. And it already had pictures of it when we figured that out. And I'm like, well, we got pictures of it. Just list it. $5 plus shipping. And that's, you know, pure profit. $12 plus shipping and $10 plus shipping. Love selling these things. Have these two bins and a few more inside still. Next one went to James. I think it was James. James, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Watches all the channels. I appreciate that. And really appreciate the fact that you like it when I tease Dave. Dave usually is the one teasing me. So I do appreciate that. Curious George, $16 plus shipping. It's a vintage Curious George, the tiny one. And I really, really like some Curious George. I have a couple of those items also came from Lady Arbitrage. $16 plus shipping. And after all that, I realized I picked up the wrong one. It's the astronaut one. So there you go. Very cool. That one is headed your way. James, I just noticed you put your eBay store name on there. Johnson Flips Out. I like that one. Next one is in the Texas bin. I, yep, there it is right there. Keurig. And this one is some kind of a care kit. Those cleaning care kits. And I don't even know where we got it. This one sold for $12. Plus shipping. That was brand new in a package. It's not bad. You know I love selling cassettes. You know I love selling Tupperware, ashtrays, that kind of stuff. But I love selling plush too. And I just, I mean, I love this setup right here. But it's getting a little full ever since these pound puppies. I think my wife finally listed those. She likes to list plush. So it's one of the reasons I pick them up. Because if she likes to list something, that's awesome. It takes a little bit of the load off of me. Matter of fact, she's been listing a lot. I think she told me she listed 11 today. I've listed three. <laughs> so I'm slacking. It's a SeaWorld Penguin. This one's not one of the super old ones. I do like the vintage ones, but this doesn't have the vintage tag on it. And that one right there sold for $12 plus shipping. All right, Terry bought one of those Apollo coins. By the way, I'm going to try at the very end of the video to read some of the folks who bought those Apollo coins out there. One of them happens to be a family member, so I, I better read that one <laughs> for sure. But Terry got one of those, but she also got two other things. She got two of those vinyl nations that we're talking about. So I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to put this over here for a second. And we're going to pull these two out and show them to you. These are the two that sold, plus one of these here. $28.43 plus shipping. This is an Animal Kingdom one. Primeval Swirl. Did I say that right? 
And this one is Cinderella's Castle, which a lot of you could probably tell from that one. How cool is that? So thank you very, very much. Hey, Turner, just got out of practice not too long ago, and you have a cat yep. with what? What is that? Uh, museum. Uh, museum. <laughs> it's a fiddle. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's a bow for a fiddle, I should say. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Have you ever heard that before? Not at all. You haven't, have you? Yeah. Isn't that crazy, y'all? Everybody out there listening, I guarantee you 90% of people out there listening have heard that a hundred times. But at your age, I don't know, we just don't do nursery rhymes as much anymore. That's a pretty cool nursery rhyme. A lot of nursery rhymes came from the 18th century. And so for you, that's the 1700s. And Dave, Dave doesn't know that either, NC Picker, so... There you go. 18th century England, those came from. And a lot of those nursery rhymes have meaning, but that one probably doesn't at all, unfortunately. But there's a lot of lore around that fairy tale. And you have no idea what I'm talking about right now. I don't. <laughs> Do you know what Lord of the Rings is? Uh, yeah, yeah. That fairy tale appears in some form in Lord of the Rings, J.R.R. Tolkien. But anyway, I'll talk about that stuff forever. That sold to Stacy, and Stacy got it for her daughter, who loves all things Disney, she said. And she said a few other things. Will you say thank you to Stacy? Thank you, Stacy. And we hope your daughter enjoys it. That's definitely enough for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. Bye. Next day, I went to Robert Montego Selections. You've always been a supporter. We really, really appreciate it. And this time, you grabbed some of these pins. Some of you may go way back. We used to sell a ton of these pins. Well, I closed down one of my antique booths. I can't even find the pins. What the heck did I do with them, y'all? Hmm, there they are. Closed down one of my antique booths, and I found a few of these in there. And I'm like, hmm, they sold pretty good on eBay. Let's put them back. And I put them back up, and <laughs> they all got sold. God bless America, probably made in the USA, along with one of these right here. And these magnets, which have been really good sellers as well. And proud to be an American, support our troops. 20, I can't remember how much it is, somewhere like around $20 for that, plus shipping. Glad I didn't close the drawer, looks like we sold three more of these right here. And one I know is to a viewer. By the way, if anybody left messages, uh, if they're not in the messages that are on the purchase, then there I, I just looked at my messages and I looked at them this morning and there's already 38. So it's getting a little rough, but three more sold. One went to a viewer. I went to Shane. Thank you, Kevin, for all the great content. Love and watch all your channels. And yes, even trash to cash. Mm, I'm so sorry. I really enjoy when you talk about your life and how this is going or how that is going. The new shed and the history you share with us. Well, thank you. Thank you again, eBay store, the Pickled Picker Shane Moss, M-A-A-S. Is that right? The Pickled Picker Shane Moss. And it's Chevy Fan 1978. Really, really cool. Connie Johnson got a couple of items right here. Starbucks mug. I think we got this one. So it's like five something plus shipping. It's got a little, I don't know, man, it's got some bugs in it. It's been there long. I'll clean it out, I promise. And that one is a pretty cool one, but it does have a few markings right there. So I think it went a little cheaper because of that. All right, y'all. I've been looking back here for a while. There was a blue peep and a pink peep that sold. And I could only find the pink peep. So somewhere in this thing here, there's a blue peep. You would think it would be where the pink peep was, but it's not. So I don't know what's happened to it. Hmm. I'll have to keep looking, but uh, I'm going to skip it for now. Colleen, if I can't find it, Colleen, I will refund you. I'll give you the mug for free, for free and I'll ship that off. So I, It's got to be here. It's got to be, I would think. I don't know what else I'd do with it, but at any rate, I'll find it. A lot of times, y'all, if you can get a mug into these boxes here, you can ship it out first class. I have a video about it. I do not suggest doing that for mugs that weigh over, say, 13-ish ounces. And this one clearly is going to weigh over 13 ounces. So it's 15 ounces. There's no way you're shipping that first class. And which means you don't need to ship it in a box like that. It means you need to ship it in one of these boxes right here. Because it's going to go out priority anyways. And that way you don't have to pay for the box. We're going to throw that one in there as well. By the way, speaking of boxes, thank you to Frank for buying plans for the Commonwealth Picker shipping table over on CommonwealthPicker.com. Hey, y'all, Reagan has an announcement. What do you got? He got 
got new Trash to Cash shirts. Trash to Cash shirts. Whoever yes. would want one of those. Trash to Cash podcast and shirts. Good. We have the tote Ikea bags, but they're in blue this time. That's right. Blue instead of black. And we have, we ordered less than we did last time. So we ordered 50. 50. So they'll go quick, I'm sure. And look, she's been folding them up using yeah. these things. I need an affiliate link for this thing. This thing's cool. Maybe I'll like put it. one of those. You like it? Yeah. I do too. You want to show them how to do it? Okay. All right, show them how to do it. Gotta, Sorry. You have a logo, you uh -huh. gotta put it face down. Face down. Uh -huh. I am. I'm gonna go get an If the shirt's too long, thing. you gotta flip it up. Yeah. And then you just go fold, fold. The sleeves are always too long for me, so you gotta fold that in, and then go bam. There you go. And it's perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you, Reagan. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthpicker.com. Thank you again to Adventures with Victoria for running that charity auction. For Nate, every day I'm hustling, uh, who, who died in that accident. For all that, all that money went to his family. So thank you all so very much for doing that. Also to Eric OBX Picker and to uh, Jimmy Old School Flips for helping her run that. All the people who donated money, donated items. You guys were amazing. Special thanks to Just Me Kathy for your generosity. Chris the Goose and uh, the Silver Hair Stacker. Very, very kind of you guys. You guys were amazing. Thank you again, and all that stuff's going to a great cause. These shoes have been in the store literally for two years. They finally sold $17 plus shipping. It's just a pair of Sperry boat shoes. A couple of Estee Lauder sales. All Estee Lauder lipsticks not made the same right just look at how fancy this one is <laughs> 30 dollars plus shipping for this one and it is called starlet pink eight dollars plus shipping for this one and it is called boys de rose i don't know i probably butchered that last but not least a dollar store dollar store a dollar bin buy from you see this right here it's a little marking right there i guess that's why i got in the dollar bin from the goodwill and I don't know, that'll probably come out. So for $16 plus shipping. All right, y'all, I have two late arrivals here. No pun intended for the Cabbage Patch Kid. Two more sales to add to this list. This puts us over, I think, $1,300 for the day. And I want to get these out. It's actually the next day. <laughs> you can't tell that, though. But it's the next day, and I have got to get these two out of here. And they both went to viewers pretty awesome right here that roger rabbit is awesome i picked up another one of these at the hillsville sale and i i don't think i've listed it yet but i mean i just love that roger rabbit plush you don't come across them very often cabbage patch kid is headed out to sarah and if you remember from a couple of videos ago or maybe yeah i guess two at this point we talked about her instagram and she said she she contacted me like i asked and i said you know how many sales do you get from that instagram page that's just about it's not about her personality it's not her it's all about cabbage patch kids she says 70 percent of my sales I'm like sweet so she's gonna take that she's gonna flip it because she knows what she's doing which is awesome so thank you sarah pittsburgh picker's wife by the way so thank you to both of you and uh, she says she's gonna put it in her collection under the cabbage patch sign that carrie and dawn sent her Mr. and Mrs. Pittsburgh Picker, Carrie and Dawn, Our Lady Arbitrage, and American Arbitrage. So, Sarah, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for the purchase. All right, Reagan's got an easy job today because we only had one sale out of CommonwealthPicker.com. Who got it and what did they get? Heather got an Enmo Man and Mac got 20 Buy Me a Coffee. Mac got 20 Buy Me a Coffee. Is somebody out there in the shed working right now? Mm -hmm. Who's out there? You know who it is? Yes. Who is it? Mikey. Mikey. One of my old ball players out there working on the shed as we speak. I'm excited about it. And Matt gave us 20 pieces of that shed on buymeacoffee.com slash come off. Very, very cool of you. And we're going to do something special for all you folks. Is that a cat just come in? Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Reagan. Bye. And don't forget to use your sticker at commonwealthpicker.com. By the way, I almost forgot that was $14.95 plus shipping. This one's going off to Corey, the Roger Rabbit. Newish. Viewer, he says, by the way, that was $24 plus shipping. I've been reselling on eBay on and off for over a decade, but inflation lately has got me focusing on reselling as an actual secondary income. Without you and other YouTubers, I wouldn't have branched out uh, outside of my niches. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy that Roger Rabbit. I'm going to miss it, but now I got to go find the other Roger Rabbit that I bought. And I'm going to get that thing listed so I can put it up here. And I've got to let this cat in. 
Don't forget Uncle Mark's Garage Sale, September 17th, Youngsville, North Carolina. Go check it out on GarageSaleNation.net. Go check it out on Garage Sale Nation Facebook group. Or check the link trees in the description below or in my IG bio on Instagram. All right, here we go. I'm going to read a couple of these. I might not read them all, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry, but there are so many here. Mike, this is all the Apollo purchases. My wife and I have been watching you for several years now, and I enjoy watching your family. We love your YouTube content and learn lots every episode. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate it. Another Mark. Enjoy all the channels. Get to see your family and pets included with your content. Yes, there are viewers who are not resellers. There you go, Mark. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This one's from Carla. Hello, I watch your YouTube channel. I appreciate you sharing all your knowledge. I think this is a cool item, and I'm buying one for my grandson. See, there you go. I told you, Christmas, right? I'm from Texas. I am Texas Lady on YouTube. Texas Lady on YouTube, but I'm just a viewer and don't make videos. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Carla. All right, this one is the one that is from, I, I guess it is a relative, right? Evan Doney. Doney is my mother's maiden name. And this is uh, Stephen's son. Stephen is my cousin. Haven't seen Stephen in a long time. Have never met Evan. So hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Thank you. I saw this in your last video. And I saw that it said December 7th, which is my birthday. Really cool. Evan Doney, Stephen's son. That has to be, right? It's got to be my cousin's son. What is my cousin's son to me, Evan? What are you to me? There's your homework assignment. Tell me in the, in the comments. <laughs> Very, very cool. And par Patriot Pickers is on, on eBay. You guys are sellers on eBay. I'll have to go check that out. Awesome. Thank you. This one's funny. It's from James. Thank you, Kevin. This is too cool. P.S. I can't handle Dave in long increments, <laughs> but I'm sure he's a good dude. <laughs> I totally agree 100% with all of those sentiments. That's NC Picker, by the way. Thanks for your kindness. Um, I'm so blessed by all that you do on YouTube. May God bless you for your generosity. Well, thank you. That's from John. All right, this one is from Daniel, and it's pretty long, but I wanted to mention one part of it. He says that the Enemyman is a big influence on um, him and Wendy after they bought it last year. Wendy was thrilled when she heard her name on the show. Especially wanted to thank you for that. She passed away this last February. MS complications. There's so many people out there um, that I've heard lately that are struggling with MS, and so I'm so sorry to hear that. I had an English teacher in middle school. That had MS, and you could tell she was really struggling with it at the time. And I remember her. She was a very good teacher. She was tough. I didn't enjoy the class, but I enjoyed her. She was an inspiration. So I'm so grateful to everyone who touched her life, Dan. Dan, thank you for sharing that. I really do appreciate it very, very much. I'm so sorry for your loss, um, and I hope you enjoy the uh, the coin. Last one here. This one's going to Brenda. Hey, Kevin, I'm a newish seller and i watch you on all the channels i appreciate all the knowledge i have gained from you as it has made this journey so much easier if you could give a shout out to my ebay store it's mitten picker mitten picker it seemed appropriate <laughs> i would appreciate it love the animals great touch to the channels she says she loves the animals have you noticed there's been no animals in this video none and I've been putting shed endings on the video. So now I need to put an animal ending in the video. Because <laughs> you haven't seen that. You know why you haven't seen an animal? Because everybody's home. When all the an when everybody's home, all the animals stay up there. When nobody's home, they all come down here and get treats. They're pretty smart, you know. <laughs> I appreciate you all and everything you do for me. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you next time. All right, y'all. There's been no cat the whole video. And now that we're packing in here. And that Blue Ridge Mama's in here. Now there's a cat. Mm -hmm. Now there's a cat. Huh. Yep, yep.